Today, I'm going to show you how to install and play PS Vita games in any Android device. First, download these three files. I'll provide link in description. After downloading, install the Vita 3K. Now we need to extract the graphic drivers. So click on it and click on Extract here. This is only to use when you have Snapdragon processor. So here you need to test each driver file and find the best which suits for your device. Now open Vita 3K Emulator. On this screen, select your preferred language and click on Next. Here don't do anything, just leave it to default and click on Next. Again here also click on Next. And now our initial setup is completed. Now here, scroll down and click on Close. So now we need to create a user profile. So click on Create User and type the name you want to set for your profile. After that, click on Confirm and on OK. We have created a new user. We'll click on it and again on the screen. Now it's the step to install firmware. It's just similar to BIOS file for Aethos X2 emulator. So now click on File or Option and then on Install Firmware. Locate to the folder where we downloaded. This is the firmware which is to be installed. So click on it and on Select. Wait for to complete the installation. It has installed successfully. Before testing a game, we need to change drivers. If you have any glitches and your game is freezing or not opening, then follow these steps. Click on Configuration option and click on Settings. Here, go to the GPU section and click on Add Custom Drivers and locate to the Download folder. Here you need to test these four files one by one to check which one is compatible for your device. For my device, it's the second file. Just click on it and select. After that, click on Default and change it to the installed drivers. Now at the bottom, click on Save. Finally, we need to test a game. You can find the games in our Telegram channel or check the description. So to install the game, you need to download the game in zip or VPK format. I already downloaded a game and let's click on file option and then click on install zip or VPK option and select the game. Now wait for the game to install. It'll take one to two minutes depending on the game size. Our game has been successfully installed. So let's click on it and start. If you face any problem with this emulator, then please feel free to comment down or message me personally in Telegram. There's still one thing left to do, that is to add L2 and R2 buttons on the screen. To add, click on Controls option and select the overlay. In this, turn on Show Front and Back touchscreen option. Now click on Configurations and click on Settings. And go to System section and turn on PSTV mode and click on Save. That's it. Everything is done. Now enjoy the games in Vita 3K emulator. I hope this video is helpful for you, so please subscribe and thanks for watching.